We will be seated very soon. The Chief Mourner, Colonel Panji Kaunda, retired, members of the Bereed family of His Excellency Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda, founding father and first president of the Republic of Zambia, Your Excellency Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, the President of the Republic of Zambia, and the First Lady Mrs. Esther Lungu, Your Excellency Mr. Joachim Alberto Chisano, former President of the Republic of Mozambique, Your Royal Highnesses, our traditional leaders, the former Vice Presidents of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Davis Mwila, the Secretary General of the Patriotic Fund Party, Honorable Mr. Justice Michael Mson, the State Council, Acting Chief Justice, Honorable Catherine Namgala, First Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Dr. Simon K. Mitty, the Secretary to the Cabinet, members of the Central Committee of the Patriotic Front, members of the Zambia United National Freedom Fighters Association, former Cabinet Ministers, former First Ladies, Chairpersons of Service Commissions, the Service Chiefs, Bishop Trevor Msonda, 
Mwamba, President of the National Nation Independence Party, political party leaders, permanent secretaries, the Reverend Bishop Sidney Chilima, Synod Moderator, and members of the United Church of Zambia, Church Mother Bodies, members of the clergy present, distinguished monarchs, members of the press, should I just simply say, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the final resting place of His Excellency Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda, founding father and first president of the Republic of Zambia. The value program will be as follows. Immediately after these few remarks, we shall have an opening prayer by Reverend Vincent Kagea, former minister in charge of UCZ St. Paul's congregation, followed by the blessing of the great by Reverend Richard Musonda, Lusaka Presbyterian Secretary. Then you shall witness the removal of articles on the casket by poor bearers. The lowering of the casket, and there will be a concurrent gun salute. The last port sounding of bugler with concurrent fly pass, and all uniformed personnel will be requested to salute. We shall have the committal to be conducted by Reverend Chipasha Musara, the General Secretary of the United Church of Zambia. We shall have the covering of the grave. We shall call upon our engineers, and the brass band in the background will be playing some soft music. Then I'll proceed with the laying of bricks. I'll be able to guide that portion. Finally, we shall have, but the least, presentation of national flag to the family, family representative by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalung, a vote of thanks by Mr. Sianga Savior Quickset Shmabalu, family representative. We shall have the benediction by Reverend Kagea, former minister in charge, then the national anthem, and His Excellency will depart. Right now, may I humbly call to the podium Reverend Vincent Kagea, former minister in charge of St. Paul's United Church of Zambia for an opening prayer, Reverend. Thank you, Your Excellence. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we continue to acknowledge your presence in our midst, and we continue to, con to seek your guidance even at this place. As you have been with us, O oh my Father, since morning, we want to pray that, Lord, even in this time, you lead us and bless every activity that will be done at this place where your many servant will lie in eternity. We thank you, Lord, and we pray for your blessings. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to be upon each one of us as we mourn our departed day, Father now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Kage. We'll transit into the blessing of the grave by Reverend Richard Musonda, Lusaka Presbytery Secretary. Reverend Musonda and your team. Excellency, let us pray to God. Almighty God, you who is on the way and sanctifier of all things, we glorify you for this day which was known and set apart by you for the purpose of putting to rest the remains of your dear servant, the current soldier, the vessel of liberation 
His Excellency, the First President of the Republic of Zambia. Lord of Lords, we ask and pray now by the power of your divine calling that you bless this grave, sanctify and secure it in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Father, as we put to rest the remains of your dear servant to the ground, we pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that which you had placed upon him for the purpose of bringing peace and liberation to this nation, influence the soil of Mother Zambia, that our people shall live in peace, unity, love, and receive your healing to the glory of your name. Lord, this is our prayer. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We shall now proceed with the removal of articles from the casket by the poor bearers. The poor bearers. Thank you, Reverend Sonda, and your team.
The wonderful thing in your lesson is about uh, the military is everything is real. You bless him back the headless. Among civilians, that is madness for the civilians. But us is the way, and we love it. Thank you, Excellency. Parade Commander, we can now proceed with the lowering of the casket. Please don't run away as we hear the sound of the gun. Very shortly. Shall we be upstanding?
zrozumieć głębiej. I są ci było. Ale to jeszcze nie było być pełna, to nie odchodzi z góry. A to odchodzi o sztuczno tym, gdzie to nie odchodzi się. Ludzie zostać o rolę na osobę. Amen. Thank you very much. The Senior Moderator and your team. Your Excellence at this particular time is the covering of the grave. May I call upon our engineers to do the lead book while the brass band will play some sort of music. Our engineers.
but children will be followed by his excellency Zaid Yashakalungu, the president of the Republic of Zambia, and the first lady, Mrs. Esmalungu, your excellency. His Excellency will be followed by His Excellency Mr. Joaquin Alberto Sam, former President of the Republic of Mozambique, Your Excellency.
the subject the continent will be followed by the surface seas. The surface seas plan.
Our political party leaders will be followed by two representatives of the Zambia United National Freedom Fighters Association, and I mean two. I know what I'm talking about. Two representatives from the Freedom Fighters, our fellows.
Bonjour. The PSS will be followed by the former service chiefs, the general secretary and the general secretary. When you close this session, we will get back to the church after the former service chiefs of the area. May I also request the uh, members of the Central Committee 
which will be made by the learning mix, Madame Gabriel.
Pichó, 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 Pichó. Excellent, you may be seated. Thank you so much. You may, we may be seated. Thank you so much. We are almost coming to the close, Your Excellency. May I invite to the podium for a vote of thanks, Mr. Sianga Savior Quicksage Shimabale, to come and give a vote of thanks. The Chief Mourner, Hano, Hanji, Hanga, Okay. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Enka Chagua Zuzu, the first today. I write for the protocol already like that. Your Excellency, the family of the first Republican president, Dr. Kenneth David Utisa Kaunda, would like you, sir, to know how grateful they are to you and your government for according the first Republican president, Dr. Gamba, a state funeral. Your timely intervention enormously reduced the burden of sorrow which the family on its own would not have successfully contained. Your Excellency, the family's gratitude to you and your government can only be better imagined than described. Your Excellency, the Kaunda family is overwhelmed by the unsolicited display of sorrow and sympathy, which not only the people of Zambia, but also the world at large, according to the family during the period of mourning. Here in Zambia, Wherever provisional center the coffin was taken, people expressed their sorrow for sorrow of life in ways more than a hundred and one. The church was there to console. Groups waved a batamala, as we call it in Zambia, the small piece of snow white cloth by which Dr. Kaunda was always identified. People dropped silent tears in voluntary day. People stood by the roadside severally and individually in actual disbelief. They saw that the end of the 
but with one input missing. Dr. Garanda's old dog, Cook. So, right. What do they have on viruses? Our time tested traditional ideas. They were either present at many provincial centers we visited or where the takes of culture developed certain representatives. Mr. President, the government of Sarin is greatly humbled by this Spontaneous demonstration of love with Dr. Gaunda himself abundantly shared with the people of Zambia in everything that he did, said and thought. The family also acknowledges with thanks received of messages of condolences from within and beyond Zambia to all and sundry a big thank you from the family. Once again, Your Excellency, the family is most grateful to you and your government for appointing first Republican President Dr. Kenneth David, which is the founder, a befitting senator. I thank you, sir. Your Excellency, we are coming to the end of the program and in giving us the benediction, may I call to the podium the Synod Moderator for United Church of Zambia, Bishop Reverend Sidney Stilima, to close. Shall we be upstanding for prayer? Shall we pray? You transcend everything in the heavenly realms, dear Lord. You transcend everything on this surface earth and below this surface earth. You are. The Alpha, you are the Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. You are the become with us, seeker Lord. And we find you. But to this end, your presence is still with us. May you now. Heavenly Father, dismiss us with thy blessings. May the blessings of God the Father, the blessings of God the Son, and the blessings of the Holy Spirit abide with each one of us that are present here. Let the blessings of the Holy Spirit Abide with our children, with our families that we have left behind. May the blessings of God abide not only with us, but also abide with every citizen of the Republic of Sanja, wherever they are in this country.
country, from the east to the west, north and the south. May the blessings of God abide with the all God's people scattered in all places. And it will call our Heavenly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all the glory and honor today and forever. Amen. We remain outstanding for the national anthem. of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia and the First Lady. Thank you. 